video, we are going to discuss reorder point. Okay? And the other part of this uh, video is the discussion on economic order quantity. Plus, it is very important that you have already read the previous sections before watching this video because uh, explanations on reorder point and economic order quantity were provided in the previous sections, okay? So here, class, we are going to do an illustration of the reorder point. What we have here is that the company's expected daily usage is 100 pound. The anticipated delivery is 6 to 10 days. So the problem is, when will the company place the order? And that is the reorder point or order point, okay? So the reorder point is computed as usage times lead time plus safety stock. So if we are going to get uh, what we're given, okay, usage is 100 pound, okay, and then the lead time is between 6 to 10 days, okay? And safety stock plus the uh, lead time of 6 to 10 days, we have to divide this into 2. 6 is the minimum, so we can compute that as our lead time here, okay? And for the safety stock, we have to note how much the uh, usage, and we have to make a provision in case of delay on the delivery. So in this case, the delivery can be from 6 up to 10 days. So the lead time of 6, that's the minimum number of days, is 6. However, it can be delayed up to 7, 8, 9, or 10. So for our safety stock, we are going to get uh, the number of days from 6 up to 10. So that will be 4 days as our safety stock. Okay? So we have uh, the usage of 100 pounds per day times 4 days as our safety stock. Okay, so the reorder point will be computed as 100 times 6, which is the minimum lead time, plus 100 times 4 days, which is from 7, 8, 9, and 10 day, okay, in case that there will be a delay in the delivery. Okay, so in this case, we have here 600 plus 400 for the safety stack, so our reorder point is 1,000 gallons. So it means that the company should make the order when the level of inventory is at 1,000 gallons. Okay? So let us illustrate that class. So if this is what we have, so we will illustrate this, and our reorder point is 1,000 gallons. So if we are the buyer, our usage is 100 gallon per day. This is what we are uh, issuing, okay? And then we have a lead time of 6 to 10 days. So meaning that we can only receive uh, our order up to uh, waiting for 6 days from the date that we have placed the order and it can be delayed up to 10 days, okay? So uh, in the event that our uh, number of stocks in the warehouse is, all, is already 1,000 gallons, okay, that's the time that we are going to place the order. And it will take 6 to 10 days. If we place the order on September 10, okay, to our supplier, and then uh, we can receive... We can expect to receive it after six days, which is September 16. However, it can be delayed. It can We can uh, receive it on the 17, 18, 19, 20 yet. So we need to have a buffer or a safety stock for four days, okay? So in this case, the minimum uh, days of lead time is six up to 16. And our safety stock is from 17 to 20. Okay, class? And now let us discuss the EOQ formula. 
the formula for economic order quantity is square root of 2 O n over C. 2 is constant, okay? 2 is constant. And O is cost of placing an order or ordering cost, okay? N is the number of units required annually. And C, this is the annual carrying cost per unit of inventory, okay? So EOQ is equivalent to square root of 2 O N over C, okay? And in addition to the economic order quantity formula, we also can compute the number of orders per year. So the number of orders can be N, which is the units required annually, over EOQ. EOQ is the number of units that we will order, okay? So here we will be able to get the number of orders. And the total ordering cost per year will be the number of orders times the ordering cost, okay? And for the other formula is the average inventory. What we are going to use in computing the average inventory is the simple way of computing it, which is EOQ divided by 2. That will be our average inventory. And our total carrying cost per year is computed as average inventory times carrying cost. Okay? And then the total cost will be the total ordering cost plus total carrying cost. So these are the related formula in relation to economic order quantity. Okay, let us have this uh, given so we can uh, use the formula that we have already learned. So number of gallons of materials required annually, 10,000. Cost of placing an order, 10 pesos per order. Annual carrying cost per gallon of inventory, 80 cents. Okay? So if these are the things that are required, EOQ, number of orders per year, total ordering cost, average inventory, total carrying cost per year, and total cost. Okay? So let us compute. So this is what we have, okay, as our given. So our EOQ is square root of 2 ON over C and replacing the uh, uh, with our given 2 constant. 10 is ordering cost, okay? And then the number of units is 10,000, okay? over 80. So 2 times 10 times 10,000 over 80 square root of that. So uh, we will be able to get 500 gallons. Okay, so our EOQ, meaning the number of units that we are going to order is 500 gallons. Okay, and now we can compute the number of orders per year. So the number of orders per year will be and over EOQ and it can it will give you 20 orders so uh, meaning that we will order 20 times and ordering 500 units for each order okay and the other formula that we have to learn is so here these are the things that we have already computed and the total ordering cost so the total ordering cost is the number of order times ordering cost. So in this case, the number of order is 20 times and ordering cost is 10. So we have here 200, okay? And the next is average inventory. Average inventory is EOQ divided by 2 and we will be able to get EOQ is 500 divided by 2 is 250 okay <clears throat> next is so this is what we have already computed 
And next is total carrying cost per year. And total carrying cost is average inventory times uh, carrying cost. And that will be 250 times 80. That will give you 200. In the um, narrative discussion, uh, it was presented that if the uh, total order cost and total carrying cost are of the same amount, then that is... Uh, the uh, the EOQ that we have derived, that's the um, most uh, uh, effective EOQ, okay? If the total carrying cost and total order cost are equal. So here the total cost is a total ordering cost of 200 plus total carrying cost of 200, then our total cost is 400. Okay, so class, I will illustrate with you the, uh, the concept of EOQ. If this is our warehouse man, so our reorder point here is 1,000 gallons. So we are going to place an order of 500 gallons, okay, if we are making an order to the, uh, to the supplier, okay, so... We need to, for the year, our need for the gallons is 10,000. And if we are ordering, every time that we will order, we are ordering 500 gallons. So the number of orders is 20, okay? 20 times that we are going to place the order. So our total ordering cost will be the number of orders of 20 times... Uh, the 10 or the cost order per year, I mean, the per, for each order, the order cost is 10, so that will be equivalent to 200. Okay, so average inventory, EOQ divided by 2 equals 250. So if we are going to compute the total carrying cost, which is average inventory times carrying cost, it will be 200 also. So the total cost based on this, as we have calculated, is 400 okay class so that's it for now and i still have some illustration but it will be covered in the next video bye for now class and stay safe